Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today I'm tired. And I'm going to keep saying that all week because I'm tired. And I'm recording these all on Monday. <laughs> tired. Um, I'm still going to give you all. I'm going to give you my all. I'm going to give you my best. But I'm tired. So today I wanted to come on and show you guys. I made a small purchase from Paradise Fibers. I, I Let me pull up. I don't think there's a... There might be an invoice in here. There's a shipping. Shipping, no prices. Now, the reason I ordered from Paradise Fibers is I was watching. I don't know who I was watching. I was watching somebody on the internet and they were ordering from Paradise Fibers. And let me find the original order. And I was like, oh, like that looks interesting. Like it's a new place to look at for buying. We call it fluff here on the channel. It's for buying the stuff that the roving stuff that I turn into yarn that I spin. And so they had some things that were clearanced out. And I put a couple of those in the shopping cart. It was a ball of fluff for like $2. And I was like, I mean, even if I'm just playing with it, like $2 is a pretty good price. And also Little Man has been spinning and in fact, I showed this on the channel already. He's got a little section of yarn, even at like two dollars. Like, if one of us can spin it, it's worth the two dollars, right? And there's fluff on my camera lens. Let me move you over just a little bit because I feel like you're pointing that way. <laughs> Still drinking Tuesday's tea. I added a little bit of Splenda so it tastes way better. And I ordered from, I, I clicked the link from someone. I don't know whose website or whose YouTube video I was watching. It was not Rebecca from Chemnitz. Usually I hear about Paradise Fibers from Rebecca from Chemnitz, but it was not her. And I, I don't know, it's someone I've never watched before, so I don't know who I even clicked the link, right? And so when I clicked the link, I went straight into sales and I'm looking and I'm, I'm putting stuff in the shopping cart and I'm thinking about stuff. And at no time did I look at the top of the screen and see that they had an alert up there. At no time. As a matter of fact, I screenshotted it because when I first went to their website, there was nothing up here, right? So I placed my order, look at, oops. There's nothing that said anything about a fire on their front page. It just said, ooh, Barocco yarn. I'm like, oh, Barocco yarn. That was a screenshot. That's not their actual website. It wasn't until after I finished and completed that like the, and I don't know if the poet page just didn't fully load or what happened, it said fire alert. I was like, fire alert? I already clicked complete order. Fire alert? What the heck? So I read it and there's, they said something about a fire. And I was like, what is happening? So I went to their Facebook and there was a lot more information on their Facebook. They apparently, Paradise Fibers had a fire that they think was set on their, their shipping dock. And the smoke damage came I mean obviously smoke when when a building is on fire the smoke goes it goes everywhere in the building and a lot of things start to smell like smoke and we all know our precious fibers pick up odors really quickly which is why I am in a closed room my door stays closed I don't want food smells to come in here from when Mr. Cinnamon is burning food <laughs> he burns bacon every time and he loves cooking with onions. And so I try to keep those smells out of here. I also have a delicious wax melt constantly going. Because I want it to smell nice in here. And it generally does. And sometimes I'll open the windows. We'll get fresh air in here. Everything here smells pretty good. Pretty neutral. That smells like nothing. Nothing. And it's been in here for like two years. Okay. So we know that smoke can wreak havoc on yarn. <laughs> on fibers on wool and so um i had a, a moment of panic and they also said that like some of their stuff is in garbage bags and cannot be shipped out because of insurance i was like 
What did I just do? I didn't spend a lot. I did not spend a lot. My order was, I think, 30 some dollars. That's not it. Thank you with an E. Thirty three fifty seven. Nope. It was more than that. I think it was like thirty eight. Cause this is the updated. Nope. This is not the updated. Okay. So it was thirty eight in total. There were two there were three things in there that were only two dollars. There was something that was thirteen and something that was five dollars and thirty nine cents. I just wanted a little sampling. I pretty much wanted a sample pack to see if I like their fiber, see if I wanted to maybe sign up for the monthly club that they have, which, oh my god, I would love that. It's 40 some dollars though, and right now, that's not possible. But <laughs> I wanted to get a feel for Paradise Fibers because I'm really liking fibers. I'm loving the process of spinning. I am plowing through fiber right now because I'm really enjoying the whole, I like... I love spinning as much as I love crochet, possibly even more, which is saying a lot. It's saying a lot. Um, could be a hyperfixation at this point, but right now I am loving it. And I thought about when I first started this about upgrading my and getting an actual spinning wheel in the future. And I told Mr. Cinema, like, I don't even care right now because my drop spindle is so much fun to me. And when I do my drop spindle, a lot of times I'm standing up. So I'm not just sitting crocheting, right? I'm standing up and there's body movements and I'm, I'm enjoying it. It is so relaxing to me. And there's such a payoff when I created beautiful yarn from fluff. <laughs> okay. So when I saw when I saw the fire thing, I had a little bit of a panic because whenever you pay a company money, you're scared like this, so you're gonna be taken advantage of. We've all had it happen to us. I'm gonna change my battery. So that my fear is like, oh, what did I do? What what did I do? Did I place an order? Like, did, should the website a bit like I went into panic? Should the website website have been shut down? Are they gonna be able to fill my order? Like, what what is gonna happen? And I'm like, just take a breath and just give it a couple days and see what happens. See if they reach out. Um, and at this point, Paradise Fibers has no idea who I am. I do not. And I don't think they would know who I am anyway because I'm so new to the fiber thing. Um, I don't think they would know who I am anyway. But, like, I also, I use my personal email, not my business email when I'm ordering from companies because I don't ever want special treatment. I want to be treated like I'm your average everyday customer because I am. And I, if I give a review on a company, I want it to be, I'm giving you an honest, open review on what I experienced with that company. So that's what is happening here is I'm telling you my experience, the sense of panic that I had. And I also am very patient with people and I also understand that when your business catches fire, it is a really big deal emotionally. It is a big deal financially. Like, I can't imagine. They still have not heard back what to do with certain things in regards to the insurance company as of the recording of this video. And they're posting pictures of every single thing in their shop is in big giant garbage bags, which breaks my heart. Um, and the insurance company very well may come back and say, all of that fiber needs to be thrown in the garbage, which is devastating to me to think of. All of that going in the landfill, even if it smells like smoke, I'm sure someone can rescue it and wash it and use it. Like, the whole thing is, it's heartbreaking to think about. So I'm like, they're going through a lot, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. And I got an email. I don't know who reached out to me. Let me see. See if I can find the email, because I have a lot of emails. F 
from them. I'm trying to see who one of them reached out. One of their people reached out to me. In regards to the order. Okay, but where is it? Person was super nice. Oh, here it is. All right. Didn't give me their name. It just said sales at Paradise. Okay, so whoever reached out to me, super nice. And the, the email says, I'm sorry to inform you that your order has been delayed to due to a fire outside of our building that has impacted our current inventory. In the interest of sending you out the only best quality products and living up to our customers' expectations, we are facing a delay as we cycle out the bad and new inventory and cycle out the bad and new the new inventory in so out with the bad in with the new and await the insurance process we're working as quickly as we can to process what we can we're still working and getting the bad stock out and bagged and it's taking a bit of time i can understand they don't have a whole lot of people um right now the i ordered nylon because it was clearance out it was nylon fluff they said that they no, they're no longer going to carry it, which is probably why it was it was clearanced out, and that they can refund me or add something else to the order. And so I was like, just refund that part, and like, there's no rush in sending out my order because like it's not a big deal. Um, and then they immediately refunded and immediately sent out the rest of my order. It was such a smooth issue. Um, I was really impressed with the way they handled it, figuring all the things that are going on with their shop, and I absolutely will order again from them. Now, I like I said, I did not order a lot, and what I ordered was either because it was a really good price or like colors, like oh my god, colors. <laughs> so let me go back to find my original order. So I can tell you the prices on these things. All right, so biodegradable nylon fiber. I ordered two of those. That got refunded. And then this was also $2, and this is cotton. And the reason I ordered the cotton is to test it out to show you guys uh, an update from last week where I showed you how we spun acrylic yarn. I also showed what I spun in um, on Monday. I showed you the acrylic yarn that I spun up. So this is cotton. And it's cotton, <laughs> like it's actual plant cotton. And I have no idea how to spin cotton. This feels very different from the wool. And this may actually get, I think I might spin this with the acrylic just to see what happens so that I have something for the cotton to hold on to because I have no idea how to spin this. Um, but I wanted to try it out for to educate you guys that you can actually spin cotton. And this, it still has like the the plant life stuff in it. Give my camera a minute. So there's still like plant life bits. <laughs> it's just, it's cotton. And you may think that there's been a fire. There's dark spots. It smells like smoke. It doesn't. That's just plant stuff. Like this is a cotton seed or something that's in there so um, right now I'm just trying to explore as many options as I can and learning to spin and this smells like nothing it smells like cotton <laughs> if cotton has a smell it smells like cotton it's really soft so this was an ounce of white Egyptian cotton feathers 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 fibers and um it was two dollars so for two dollars i'm gonna play with it and see what we can make out of this egyptian cotton and i might mix it with other fibers just to see what happens see it doesn't even want to all fit back in there like they rammed it in there that's probably not gonna stay in there because i hate looking at my fibers get compressed like that and then I ordered this one because it's gorgeous. This is called Mary's Robe. I think Mary's Robe is the color. 
which makes total sense to me that it's called Mary's Robe. This one is Shetland and Silk. And it was $5.39 for an ounce. And you think that's a little thing. I mean, nothing. You'd be surprised what an ounce makes. And you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be real surprised. This is beautiful. See, it was all compressed. Look at this. Look at this. This is very... And it doesn't smell like smoke. It doesn't smell like nothing. It actually smells delicious. It smells like um, barnyard. But not really. It smells like what I imagine a freshly washed horse would smell like. Because <laughs> it feels... It's so, I lo oh my god, I love, look at how pretty that is. Let's just breathe that in. Now what's going to happen when I spin this is the two colors, unless I separate the lights from the darks, which I might, it's either going to barber pull, so it's going to like um, spin the color around itself, or it's going to become more of like the in-between color of these, the light and the dark, because they'll kind of blend together. But, oh my god, is this not beautiful? Look at this. Five dollars. Five dollars. What do you think? You think I should go with blue hair? I look like a cartoon character. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. Shetland and Silk is what the website says. It's got long, just beautiful fluff. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful, and that is absolutely not getting shoved back in that little tiny bag. I will keep it with it, but that's, I'm not, I don't like it all fluffed, it's stuffed in, stuffed in there. This was a sample set, this was $12.99, I think. Yeah, $12.99, this is Carded Cory, which stands for Corydale, which is a type of sheep. In case you don't know, these are all, this is all wool, it comes from different, different types of sheep different um, breeds of sheep create a different type of fiber and I believe one of the other ones I bought at the fiber fest was Cory Dell and I think it was the one from Jazzy Turtle I could be wrong about that one but the, this is called 90s tones which is like I mean I was born in this I was born in 79 my childhood is very much 80s and 90s and these colors like are my childhood <laughs> That's like cross colors all day long, right? So it's 90s colors, or 90s tones. It's a carded Corydale mixed bags. 90s tones, so it's bubblegum, raspberry, buttercup, cosmos, and peach melba. And I really like this bag. And once again, smells like sheep with a hint of lemon. So, I don't know where the lemon comes from. The lemon might be from the soap when they washed it. This smells like a barnyard in the very best way possible. <laughs> Juju! Come smell this. We'll get Juju's opinion on this. We'll, so, we'll get, we'll get a backup opinion. I'll see what she thinks this yarn smells like. You don't have to be on camera, but I want your voice on camera. I said, you don't have to be on camera, but I want your voice on camera. Smell this. Like, stick your nose right in there and just get, take a big whiff of it. Tell me what you smell. I don't know, but I don't like that. You don't like it? No. That, what does it smell like to you? It smells like a dirty farm animal. That dirty farm animal. Yeah, it smells like a farm. It does. Yucky. It doesn't smell dirty. It smells like hay and it smells like... A sheep that's been basking in the, the sunshine. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. It reminds me of um, Kensington, the petting farm, the little sheep barn. It makes me happy. I love that smell. Like I love that smell. All right. Thank you. Love you. She's disgusted by the smell. I happen to love the smell. She's going to be real unhappy when we have farm animals. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a closer look at what the colors look up at. Like. So this is a tealy color. There's a little bit parts that are more yellow or green. Um, 
it's just I, I these colors are amazing they are everything and they're rolled up in these beautiful little balls but there's there's quite a bit here it doesn't say on the bag how much yarn is here I'm gonna click on it and see if I can find more information on their website but I'm assuming this is raspberry but I could be wrong I could smell this all day long I don't know why I don't know because it says bubble gum which I would assume would be this one buttercup which I'm assuming is this one peach melba I'm assuming is this one and then it says raspberry, which I would assume is this one, but this this one could be raspberry. And one is Cosmos. Let me. Their website is really cool. There's so much stuff on here that just I want. <laughs> Honestly, if I had more money, I would have bought more. But with the concerts and the trips and everything. Um. It just is not plausible right now. All right, account, where is my order? Let's see if they'll let me click on it. There it is. All right. It is 25 to 30 micron count and short stable length. Makes this perfect for 3D needle felting or wet felting. That's not what I'm using it for. I'm using it to spin. See, this is why I don't know what I'm doing. I think you can spin this still. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I should have read it before I ordered it. The fibers have been spread into a web, not parallel lines. It is condensed into continuous, untwisted strands of fibers. It says it's perfect for need needle felting. So maybe I messed up, but we're going to see what happens. I might be able to spin it still. This is what happens when you're a newbie. It's like, I just don't know. I just don't know. We're going to see what we can do with it. I might be able to mix this color in with uh, I don't know, something else to spin it with. Because it will go really good with some of the... Um, yarn I bought from the like uh, I bought this and if I mix that in with this it will create more blues so I mean all is not lost <laughs> we will figure it out it's another one of those things I just I don't know what I'm purchasing right now at this point I don't know the difference and uh they're still beautiful and I'm still going to figure out what I'm going to do with them. But I really do think I should, I probably will be able to mix that because the wool wants to like bind itself to each other. So I might be able to mix this in with that and still be able to spin it. I might be able to still spin it on its own, but yeah, probably should have read that first. It says for felting. <sighs> but I really wanted to spin that. If you're a spinner, let me know if I'm able to spin that. I'm still going to try. It says unspun fibers. So is it carded fibers are for felting and then combed are for spinning or what? Not a clue. Don't care. I'm still going to use it for something. <laughs> and this was a good deal. So, yeah, that's what I ordered from them. Like I said, the customer service was phenomenal. Now I want to go back through their website and actually look at more stuff. I don't need to order more fluff right now, and I don't have the money because I have taxes are coming up. My quarterly taxes, I got car payments coming up. I got <laughs> a yarn crawl coming up. So I need to be really careful with my money right now, but um, I'm trying to budget everything down to the penny almost and um this was only 33 dollars in total so 
it's not a total waste even if I can't spin that but I really do think that will spin I don't think it's going to be a real beautiful spin but like I can make art yarn or I can mix it with I really think I can mix it with that braid and I really think that I probably will mix it with that braid because I think that blue will look actually a lot of those colors will look beautiful with that braid I think the yellow would look good with it too right so I mean all is not lost we will figure out what to do and see now I'm sitting here my anxiety is going oh you're so stupid you should have read it first now everybody's gonna think you're an idiot but no we'll figure something out we'll figure something out it still is really beautiful I, I love the way it smells like oh my god it's so wooly <laughs> and it's got little bits of uh hay stuck in there still so you know that it's fresh and these colors are so pretty And no, I am not learning how to felt because I do not need a new hobby. You can also, there's a lot of things you can do with this feltable wool too. You can also, um, you can make dryer balls, but I wouldn't because these are colored. I wouldn't use those for dryer balls because I don't want the color to come off. Um, you can also, I saw a really cool um, set of coasters that was made out of felted wool. They, they actually crocheted it first. And then they felted it. So, I mean, I might make coasters. Uh, there's always something that can be done with fibers. But, like, this one is so pretty and soft. So, check out Paradise Fibers. Go send them some support and some love. Um, you will be hearing about them again. Because I would really, really like to sign up for their monthly box when I'm able to. I also have to pay for the stupid dog subscription box. I got the dogs a subscription box. And while it's fun to do, I don't think it's worth the money. And Lucas has a subscription box. <laughs> Mommy needs a subscription box. It's been a while. Maybe next month. Maybe next month we'll do a Paradise Fiber. We'll do the... The subscription box is $34.99. Now it's telling me it doesn't exist. It's $34.99. Fiber of the Month Club. Um, and it will include between 4 and 10 ounces of fiber. Occasional tools, goodies, and a spinning recipe. Um, you will get exclusive colorways, fiber types, and or blends each month. And each box has its own theme. And this is what the box looks like. So that one has a sticker. Sometimes there's stuff with scents in there. But if you're sensitive to scents, you can tell them that you don't want scents. Some of them have candies. Um, yeah. Lots of cute, fun stuff. I would love to do that. Blender's Delight. See, now I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole with this. I need to get off their website because I'm going to end up purchasing more stuff that I, don't, I can't do right now. So anyway, check out Paradise Fibers. Um, and if you order from them, understand that they just experienced a fire and there, there's, there might be a delay in shipping. But like, honestly, that came to me in less than a week. So there couldn't have been too much of a delay. And they also have been posting that they're getting new inventory in every single day. New yarn. And they have yarn. They have like Barocco yarn on their website and other stuff. So it's not just fibers. They have yarns and stuff. They have spindles and spinning wheels and all kinds of tools. And um, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, all kinds of fibers. All kinds of fiber arts are on their website. Um and the customer service, even though they're going through something crazy right now, was top notch. And I have no complaints whatsoever. Except that I didn't read the description on that and I didn't know what I was buying, but like, I, we're still gonna use it. We're gonna figure out what to do with it. Um, yeah, so with that, check out Paradise Fibers. I will link them below. And um, 
if you have any questions, I say put them below and I will see if I can answer them. But understand that I've only been spinning for about three weeks. I know very little. And what I know, I've already shared with you. <laughs> and I'm learning every single day. This has all been a process. And I very well could be embarrassed and delete this video because I'm an idiot and I ordered the wrong thing. But again, I am I share everything with you, even my mistakes, even my uneducated things. Like, I share everything with you so that you can, like, either learn from me or learn with me or... We're on this adventure together, whether you want to learn to spin or not. I had a lot of people comment say, it's so fascinating, but I don't want to pick up another hobby. I'm not trying to make anybody do anything they don't want to do. I'm not trying to force anybody to to pick up a new hobby or spend money on anything. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm having a good time with it, and I just hope that you enjoy the content, too. That's, that's all we can hope for here on YouTube land. Um, so with that, I will let you go, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I wanted to pop back on because I just went to uh, Google and asked it asked if I can spin carded fibers. Um, it says carded wool can become a bit compacted as it travels from the carding machine to the spinning wheel. Simply pull the fiber out of the bag, fluff it up just a bit, and begin spinning. I often see spinners using a semi woolen draft with these fibers. And then further down, it says on a different website, it says once you've washed and carded your wool or gotten it back from the mill, you can start spinning it or felting it. And then furthermore, it says, practice until you get the spindle to turn smoothly. Periodically, you'll have to let the leader unwind so you don't accumulate too much twist. Wool is the easiest fiber to spin. Carded wool is much easier to spin than combed wool. And I have only been spinning with combed wool and that's carded. So even though it says it's perfect for felting, I'm wondering if I'm, I, I still think I'm, I think it will be fine to spin with. Even though the fibers are short, you just have to be more careful when you're drafting or pulling the yarn. I think I just have to be more careful because the fibers are shorter, which is fine because when I was spinning the, the acrylic, let me pull the blue back out. When I was spilling, spill, spinning the acrylic, the acrylic fibers were like this long. So you had to pull a lot longer to get a more even um, pull on it, to get a more even spin on it. Whereas the wool fibers were about this. So you have to you have to get a feel for how long you need to pull when you're drafting. You pull it thinner and then spin it. And I think that's just going to be a matter of learning how far I can pull and draft without it pulling apart. See, that's, that's not too bad. It's not wanting to pull apart. Is it going to be beautiful and even? Probably not. Do I care? No. Because also a little man can practice on this. So not, I'm not feeling as bad. But I wanted to pop back on because I think this is going to spin just fine. Matter of fact, well, I got you here. Let's see what we can spin. You guys can totally turn off if you don't want to see me play with this. But I'm like, I might as well just... Do something right. I like to spin it by hand here first. Just to attach the yarn. And then I give it a little a little pull. Oh, that's spinning just fine. It is absolutely rough and not soft. Look at that. And it's even. We're good. We are so good. It's not soft. It's very wooly, but it spins. In case you wanted to know. Because <laughs> I did. Alright, that, that makes me super happy. Look at how even that is. It's not soft, though. It's not soft at all. All right, we're going to pull that back off. It spins. It spins. That will be good practice wool for me and him. And I think that will still make something pretty. So if I can spin this into a really beautiful yarn and then felt it, 
I can make something like I can make a bag I can make slippers I can make coasters I can make placemats made out of wool and those colors ah. <laughs> all right I'm, I'm back to excited guys I'm back to excited we had a moment now we're back that actually makes me that spun really fast and really easy so we're, we're gonna be just fine and we're gonna play with all those colors I don't know if I want to intermix them or if I would just want to spin those colors separately we're, we're gonna play it all by ear I might mix it with some of that other softer wool all right proceed see you guys later